Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, aka The Diligent Dev, and welcome to part two of our Firebase Cloud Functions REST API. If you haven't watched the first video, I'll link it on the screen somewhere right now. But today in this tutorial, we are going to be refactoring some of the code that we wrote in part one. Because if you can look at some code you wrote a day, a week, a month ago, and you can't find places where you can make it better, then you should probably retire. So let's head over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are back at the project, and the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and enable cores. I don't know if you noticed in part one, but we did initialize this variable and we never used it. So let's tell Express to go ahead and use cores. So we'll say app.use cores, and we'll pass it a property of origin and set that equal to true. And that way when we're making actual web requests and not just from Postman, we won't get any cores errors. Now the next thing we're going to do is make one instance of the Firestore. So right underneath, we're just going to say const db equals admin dot Firestore. And that way we can go through here and kind of clean up some of this code. So instead of saying initializing admin dot Firestore every single time, we can just go through and remove those and replace them with db. And then we'll go ahead and save this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove this hello world function because it's not really doing anything for us and it was just an example of what we can accomplish with Firebase functions. So we'll just go ahead and remove that from our file. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, take all of our user calls and split them out into a separate users.js file. This isn't necessary for our example, but if you're gonna have a REST API with a ton of different calls, you're gonna want it to be more maintainable because your index.js file is gonna keep growing and growing and growing until it becomes unmaintainable. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new folder in our functions and call it controllers. And then I'm gonna another, make another file in here and call it user.js. And I'm gonna come back to our index.js and I'm gonna copy everything out of here and put it in our users.js file. And then I'm gonna come back to index.js. I'm gonna delete everything. Then I'm gonna type in module.exports, set that equal to an object, do dot, dot, dot require for the spread operator, controllers slash user. And what that's gonna do is go ahead and import our file. And as our REST API grows, we can add more and more files to this controllers folder. And that'll help us make our project more maintainable. And the last thing we wanna do is go into this users file. We wanna make this user app. And then I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of this so we have no conflicts when we merge all of them in our index.js file. And then we'll go ahead and run our Firebase deploy script and I will be right back after that is finished. Okay, so our deploy is finished and our hello world function was successfully deleted and our users functions were successfully updated. So it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for our refactor here on our Firebase functions REST API. If you got any value out of this video, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. It helps out my channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can drop a line in the comment section underneath the video. Until next time, happy coding.